Good morning to everybody. We are all convinced that the nexus between the three necessities, as they were called yesterday, energy, water, and food, is a key issue and could threaten development, social stability, and peace. Then the question is how to organize reason scrutiny, public debate, and the public and private action according to some priorities and to avoid that complexity leads to inaction. Water availability needs energy. Food production needs both water and energy. Therefore, therefore there is a first indispensable measure to follow all the time to save energy and water wherever and whenever it is possible. At a local level, it means to redouble the efforts towards the rationalization and the optimization of the day-to-day -day management of each one of the, of the three essential resources in relation to the other two. I shall take the example of urban water, which I know better. There is a case here for optimizing water treatment <coughs> and management to reduce the energy consumption related to water supply, either by reducing the energy content per cubic meter or by combating a water wastage or both. So here is a simplified tentative list, one among other possibilities, of priorities. First, securing healthy water supply in cities 24 hours, seven days is feasible and probably affordable, whatever the initial hurdles are. Many evidence-based examples can be given as a proof of, of concept. One that you probably know is the 24 hours, seven days uh, supply of safe water to 200,000 people in Karnataka by Veolia Water India. Second, securing, securing water means also combating leakages and therefore saving energy. In many cities of the world, the leakage ratio in the pipelines networks is higher than 50%. A third goal should be to preserve the quality of water resources, lakes, rivers, groundwater, by adequate sewage collection and treatment. Water pollution is still a widespread problem on the planet. A fourth objective should, should aim at developing safe wastewater reuse for irrigation of crops and other needs. The reuse can address both energy and food targets. Last but not least, desalination of seawater has already made a lot of progress in the reduction of the process energy or the use of renewables. For example, wind and solar. We shall have to go still further in this direction as oceans constitute an unlimited reservoir for fresh water. Uh, some of these points were mentioned yesterday uh, by Mr. Nakao and Dr. Lo uh, Lohani of uh, the ADB. I added a few more. All these targets, although complex, considered separately, may seem modest in front of the huge global challenge. However, if they were put together, they would add up. I finish my statement with a Chinese proverb, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Thank you.